Cindy Sweeney rose to stardom by starring in Euphoria, a series laced with all kinds of toxic messages aimed at its teenage viewers. Also, it spends a lot of time depicting high schoolers in extreme sexual situations. Appropriately enough, Sydney Sweeney gets naked in the very first minutes of the series. Since then, Sweeney has become a massive star, landing roles in movies while being featured in magazine photo shoots. Of course, that also means she must comply with the elite's symbolic agenda. This photo shoot in Who What Wear magazine could not be more obvious. Seriously, it's all there. Sydney uses a glass thing to make a very clear one-eye sign. This picture signals that everything else in the shoot is about her being a puppet of the occult elite, literally. A giant hand controls Sweeney like a puppet. This is one of the many pictures in the photo shoot alluding to monarch mind control. Coincidentally enough, here's the cover of Fritz Springmeier's seminal book about monarch programming. A hand controls a puppet. The images are so similar that it's almost as if the cover inspired Sweeney's photo. The goal of monarch mind control is to create programmable alter personas. With that being said, let's look at the next picture in Sydney Sweeney photo shoot. Sydney Sweeney is flanked by masks like copies of her face. This is a classic way of representing alter personas in mind control. Here, Sweeney has an eyeball in her mouth. In the movie Neon Demon, one of the most blatant movies about the satanic mindset in the entertainment industry, actresses who eat an eyeball are symbolically chosen by the elite. On the brighter side, the top comments on Instagram are all about calling out this crap for what it is. One of the first videos discussing celebrities published on this channel was about Rihanna's Umbrella, a highly symbolic video about submitting to evil. Over 15 years and two children later, Rihanna is not allowed to outgrow that toxic pseudo-satanic monarch programming crap. If she still wants a career in the industry, she must keep complying with the agenda. Rihanna was recently featured on the cover of Interview magazine, dressed as a highly sexualized, partially undressed nun. The constant blaspheming of Christianity and the perversion of its symbols is a main priority of the elite's agenda, because they're Satanists. Some might say, this is just art, or she's just expressing herself. Not really, she's an industry slave, and she's doing as she's told. The other pics of the photo shoot perfectly illustrate this fact. Here, Rihanna complies with the gender-blurring agenda with a masculine look. In this pic, Rihanna looks exhausted and zoned out while covered in bruises. In other words, she looks as if she was recently abused and traumatized. How is this art? It is not. It is a celebration of the elite's obsession with monarch programming, aka trauma-based mind control. Relevant fact, beta kitten slaves are identified with blonde hair. To prove that Rihanna is fully back in slave mode, she hides an eye while promoting a product. Speaking of the one eye sign, it was once again all over the place in the last month. Here's a small fraction of them. Model and actress Beverly Johnson is 71 years old. She was the first black model to appear on the cover of American Vogue in August 1974. But that doesn't mean she's above occult elite shenanigans. For instance, this picture on the cover of Bizarre Vietnam is an Illuminati mega combo, a 666 hand sign that doubles as a one eye sign, combined with all seeing eye earrings. The message is, you cannot just retire from the elite's industry, it retires you. The same issue of Bizarre Vietnam simultaneously featured Tynash doing a clear one eye sign. At the bottom we can read a very MK subtitle, stepping into a new persona. The message is, you cannot just start a career in the industry. It starts you. The current iteration of Doctor Who is a big pile of elite-sponsored garbage. To prove this fact, the show's star, Nkiti Gatwa, does a one-eye sign in the Sunday Times style. In response to people hating this year's Doctor Who, a journalist published one of the dumbest headlines of 2024, Sorry Straight White Men, Doctor Who was never made for you. That's a bold statement considering the fact that the first season of the show was released in 1963. Then, under the picture, she adds that the show was always inclusive, after she literally excluded straight white men right in the title of the article. This year's Met Gala dialed back on the extravagance, but the occult elite still found a way to pass its messages through its industry pawns. Bad Bunny wore shoes shaped like goat hooves. That outfit tells us that they're hiding their true nature under fashion. And what is their true nature? Baphomet idolizing Satanists. Doja Cat is still in the humiliation or sex slave phase of her career. While most celebrities were dressed in big elaborate outfits, 
She looked like she'd just come out of the shower. No dignity for industry slaves. Selena Gomez recently posted pics of her collaboration with photographer Petra Collins on Instagram. They're all about mind control. Selena sits in a bath with a face on her shoulder. It represents an alter persona. Selena leans on a woman, presumably Petra Collins, who wears a horrifying mask made of mangled hands. Those who program MK slaves are called handlers. Handlers. Selena looks sad while wearing a wristband that says risk. Also, the taped on cotton pad implies that she was injected with something. This is all about her being an MK slave. Aaron Taylor Johnson is a British actor who has starred in popular movies such as Kick Ass, Avengers Age of Ultron, Tenet, and Bullet Train. In a recent photo shoot with Rolling Stones magazine, he did everything he had to do to remain in the entertainment industry's good graces. Here he makes a blatant one-eye sign with a face that says, I know, this is pathetic. Here he mimics devil horns with a face that says, I know I sold my soul to be in Hollywood. Unless you live under a rock, you probably know that Beyonce released a country album. And of course, all of the media coverage was about her race. Because everything needs to be about race and division. In actuality, the elite is desperate to contaminate the country genre with its agendas and symbols. And they're using Beyonce as a Trojan horse. To confirm her status as an industry pawn, Beyonce made a blatant one-eye sign in Essence magazine prior to the release of her album. This is the cover art of Cardi B's single, Like What? Freestyle. It's just a big fat one-eye sign. That's it. That's all she's about. On March 24th, it was Palm Sunday, a holy day in Christianity. This is a mass media headline. Apparently, the movie Late Night with the Devil generated exactly $666,666 at the box office on Palm Sunday. I'm pretty sure that's a lie. They just wanted this headline to exist for blasphemous reasons. The movie is about a TV show unleashing evil in America's living rooms. That's an appropriate way of describing mass media. Anya Taylor-Joy recently posted pictures of her secret wedding, which included a bloody anatomically correct cake shaped like a human heart. Her entire wedding was vampire-themed. None of this is a joke. They're putting on display the fact that they're actually obsessed with cannibalism and the consumption of human blood. To ensure you understand that she's a tool of the elite, Anya was recently featured in an L photoshoot centered around her hiding one eye. King Charles's official portrait is the stuff of nightmares. That's by design. It's the general vibe they want the world to absorb. While Charles is fading into a sea of red, the painting features a well-defined monarch butterfly. While this could represent the fact that King Charles is a monarch, a rather lame association, it could also mean the exact opposite. He's an increasingly irrelevant relic of the past in the occult elite's global system which is ruled by a much higher power. Is this higher power actually hidden in the painting? When the painting is inversed and mirrored, a central figure emerges, Baphomet. Furthermore, it looks like Charles' hand is grabbing the horns, a classic satanic symbol representing the drawing of power from occult forces. But why is the painting so red? This might be a reference to another occult elite obsession. The series American horror story Delicate features a cursed painting made with a witch's menstrual blood. It is strikingly similar to King Charles' portrait. This is not a coincidence. These things are part of the occult elite's culture. Speaking of Satanism in the royal family, Meghan Merkel was seen wearing a peculiar necklace while in Nigeria. According to news sources, the piece of jewelry supposedly belonged to Lady Diana, although she was never seen wearing it. During her trip, Markle wore an inverted cross, which happens to be the main symbol of Satanism. While some outlets attempted to debunk the picture, a quick zoom in proves that this is truly an inverted cross. Snopes did not even attempt to debunk this. Some have questioned whether the necklace was actually by Lady Diana. Maybe it was a way of deflecting the fact that she owned an inverted cross. Bizarre fact, Melinda Gates wore a similar inverted cross while promoting scenes in 2020. Now it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have shed light on important topics that affect us all. 
make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.